Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a confirmed date for Team of the Year from EA Sports. It is coming on Friday, the 22nd on Friday. Team of the Year is going to be here. So we're going to talk about today in Team of the Year preparation video number two, out of pack special cards and icons. Because I want to take a look at how this market's going to be affected over the next few days and even into next week when Team of the Year starts. When could we see a time to buy some of these cards and what types of cards could rebound after team of the year, which cards are going to go down after team of the year, and icons especially. We're in a very interesting scenario because icon moments are only a month away. So after team of the year is over, yes, you might see a rebound on some icons, but you might see that dip very soon when icon moments come out in February. So let's show you guys the official, the official date for team of the year was announced here on the EA FIFA 21 team of the year. Website the final team of the year will be announced on January 22nd and obvious and on uh, Instagram There was like a countdown. So it's actually going to be announced pre 6 p.m. UK on Friday It's gonna be announced early and then uh, they said When special team of the year player items featuring some of the highest ratings of the season will be released in foot 21 So they're announcing it before 6 p.m. They're announcing the full 11 of players, right? But they're releasing special team of the year players um, in packs on the tw on that 22nd date as well. So I think we're getting cards in packs on Friday. If I read this correctly, we're getting the announcement and then cards in packs. Now, it would be a super EA thing to do and also kind of correspond with how they've run Team of the Year in the past to only put either the defenders and the goalkeeper in packs or just the attackers in packs for the first couple of days. I think that EA, instead of starting Team of the Year on Monday this year, realized they could start it on a Friday, get everybody to open their saved up packs on a Friday with lightning rounds, with only a few cards in packs, and drag this whole team of the year thing out instead of just being one week. I think they're thinking, hey, we can drag it out for an, an entire week plus a little bit extra. So that's why I think they're starting it on a Friday, and I think they realize they make more money on Friday's promos anyway. But this is the first time team of the year will have ever started on a Friday. It's always started on a Monday, which is very very interesting. So, how is the market reacting right now? Actually, to be honest with you, there's not really a ton that's happening. A lot of prices are still kind of chilling around the same mark. Uh, if we head over to Footbin and take a look at the popular page, which is one of my favorite things to do, is just to take a rundown of where cards are at in this game. Mbappe was 825 yesterday, right? Neymar was 640, 650k. So some of these cards have maybe bounced back a tiny bit, but I do not think this is a time that you want to buy just yet because as we're going to take a look at some graphs and just talk about stuff today, it doesn't seem to me that it's got low enough yet. I don't think we've had panic. We've only had a sell-off. So I want to continue to talk about that a little bit, specifically with the out of packs cards in this game featuring Road to the Finals, Freeze, Team of the Group Stage, Record Breakers, all that stuff, and Icons. I'm going to talk about out of pack specials and Icons because I know a lot of you guys want to buy them for your team or you want to make an investment on a player you think will rise after Team of the Year, which both of these types of cards, out of pack specials and Icons, should be rising post Team of the Year, right? So let's look at last year in FIFA 20 and talk about what happened. I'm going to talk about out of pack specials first. And then we'll go to icons because the one thing that I think a lot of people want to get in their teams is these out of pack special cards, right? Whether it's team of the group stages or whether it's road to the finals, whether it's just informs from um, previous team of the weeks that were for team of the year. One thing, if we take a look at this last year, right? We had ultimate scream, road to the final, and then team of the group stage. And that was it before team of the year. There was only N1s to watch. So four promos before team of the year last year in FIFA 20. Look at how many we have this year, right? We have got headliners. We have had road to the final three times. We've got freeze. We have team of the group stage, record breakers, and rule breakers. So instead of just four promo teams, we have six. And also we have multiple of those six promos, right? Three road to the final teams and, you know, multiple headliners teams as well and multiple rec rule breaker teams. So there's even more out of pack specials on the market this year that we could see rise post team of the year the important thing is going to be finding your spots and finding the ones that are going to have the best return on your investment if you're looking to buy a card purely for investment purposes so we're going to talk about that here in a second but also if you just want to buy it for your team 
uh, that it's going to be a great time to do that as well. If you're not worried about how much Road to the Final Rebich will rise out of packs, you just want him for your team, well, this is going to be a great time to buy him as well. So let's take a look back at FIFA 20 again and look at some of these cards, right? Hyun Min Sun, plenty of special cards last year inside of FIFA 21, FIFA 20, right? This guy dropped, obviously, when they dropped Team of the Year nominees, someone from 580k down to 446,000 coins and then rebounded in the weeks after up about 130k to 580,000 coins. So a nice rebound on a card like Sun. And if I would go here, go through here and show you all of these out of pack special cards, like, you know, not, not a lot of them. Well, most of them, not all of them is what I should say. Most of them rose, right? The main thing when you're looking at an out of packs card post team of the year is, is it a live item? Is it a meta player? And it, is it a, a player from a top five league or a top nine nation, a player that is going to be used by most people in this game. I really like Road to the Finals and Headliners from this year for Rises Out of Packs. Take a look at this Road to the Final Conte from last year. Everybody used Conte, but they didn't want to use his team of the year that was, you know, two and a half or three million coins right away. So instead, I remember watching this Road to the Final Conte at 730,000 coins last year. He rose all the way back up into January to nine hundred and fourteen thousand coins now let's talk about return on your investment or a rise out of packs from team of the year i don't think you're going to see as big of rises this year as you saw last year and here's why first of all there's more promo cards there's more cards where people can put their money towards it's not everybody's going for this conte people might be going for headliner Goretzka, or people might be going for another cdm in this game since there's more promo cards out there there's just more cards for people to choose from and they you know they have more options basically so I think that is going to be a factor in maybe some of your rises not being as big as last year, but also the timing factor because Road to the Final and Champions League and Europa League games are going to be starting literally like two weeks after Team of the Year ends. So instead of having a month to rise on the market after Team of the Year with all those coins and even headliners being after Team of the Year last year putting more coins on the market, this year you're only going to have two weeks. So it's about, about half the time. So if you technically look at it this way, this year, I would maybe expect Conte to go from 730K, you know, in a two weeks time span up to maybe about, you know, 870,000 coins. So it's only going up 150K instead of reaching that full potential and going up an entire 200,000 coins, right? Or maybe like 120K instead of 2,000 coins or 200,000. I think that's going to kind of make your rises a bit smaller and make your out of pack investments still do good. But you just have to consider the time frame. Since Team of the Year is starting so much later this year, I think that's going to factor in a lot to these cards rising out of packs. Now, again, what cards do you want to pick this year to rise out of packs, right? And we're not talking golds. We're talking the out of packs. We're talking the special cards, the live items especially, and the rare ones are the ones that I want you guys to focus on, right? Road to the finals for sure because these guys are going to have games in mid-February, which will be just shortly after Team of the Year. And these cards are super duper rare. I trade with them very often on this game. They fluctuate a lot. And a lot of people want to have these in their teams post team of the year, right? Even a guy like Varane, he's a 1.3 million coin center back in this game. Arguably the best center back card in terms of uh, his gold card. Um, watch this guy drop over team of the year as other team of the year defenders come out. He'll find a low point and you'll be able to snag him up and buy him and watch him rise uh, because people are not going to be afraid to pay 2 million coins plus for a center back with, you know, people going out and buying pri prime icons for the teams. These team of the year center backs are going to be very expensive when they come out. So we'll be watching cards like that, but also the headliners. I really think these new headliners just came out since we have, again, a lot of good players in here. Ben Yedder, of course, possibly getting an inform this week. Even like Bamba, Zaha is very p potentially getting special cards because he scores a decent amount of goals. Hyunmin Sun, 1.1 mil. We are seeing a little bit of a, not market crash, but just a dip on the market on some of these. Some of them, like Goretzka, are just very high at the moment because people are already buying these to link together Team of the Year cards that they think are coming. Now, in my opinion, do you want to buy this stuff yet? I don't think that you want to buy this stuff yet because my number one concern with all of this is if EA drops team of the year in packs and they drop team of the year nominees in packs at the same time with the team of the year nominee pack weight being very high and the team of the year pack weight being of course what it is absolute 0.0001 percent 
Um, team of the Year nominees, if they do come, will still crash this market. No matter if people have already sold off, those nominees, if they have the high pack weight, people will sell cards because those, those nominees will come out, they'll look like Team of the Years, and everybody will be enthralled by those new items on the game. So that's my only worry, right? And I also, again, I've been mentioning the panic. I've been mentioning panic, wait for the panic. We haven't really seen panic yet, right? We haven't seen the panic that I was mentioning before. Now I'm clicking on the wrong tabs because I'm looking at icons here, but let's look again at, um, you know, let's look again at a freeze card, right? Let's look at a freeze card. Let's look at freeze Bernardo Silva as a great example. A lot of guys want this for the team, right? Very good center attacking mid. Bernardo Silva was 580,000 coins. His lowest so far has been 536 a couple weeks ago. And this really isn't a sell-off for uh, Bernardo Silva, right? This, this really isn't much of a sell-off. He's been between 540 and 590 for the past two months that he's been in the game. Uh, and now this guy is just a little bit lower than that. Maybe he was 511K yesterday. Maybe on Sunday night he was a bit lower, right? 525 yesterday on Monday he was... Okay, he went down to 490 yesterday on Monday, and then he kind of bounced back when we had no content. I would, again, still want to see more panic on a card like this because like we saw on this Bernardo Silva card, some cards bounced back yesterday on Monday when we didn't have any content. So, again, wait for more loading screens to come out. Since we had this announcement today, I would be... Not surprised if we had a loading screen today at 6 p.m. Because I think that will, you know, cause a little bit more panic. But I just want to kind of just say wait. I want to say wait right now. I don't think we've seen the panic yet. I think there's still going to be a time to buy. And even if there's no panic before Friday when Team of the Year actually comes out, you might see stuff go up this weekend. But then obviously if Team of the Year is going to be a longer promo, they could, and if they're not putting nominees in packs, stuff could come out next week they could really crash the market too. So I know a lot of you guys want to buy before and we'll, we'll still definitely look into doing that, but I'm going to wait and see what, what kind of content EA drops, what loading screens they drop, what hints we get later on this week. So that's kind of the out of pack special cards situation for me. Honestly, I think a lot of cards are going to rise. Just again, what I use with this popular page for is look at the cards that get on this popular page, right? People know Alaba, uh, Goretzka with the links, right? Renato Sanchez as a very popular Europa League live item. This guy is probably going to go even higher after team of the year. I would like to see some panic on him, see him drop like 40,000 coins or so, lower 900s to get you a good buy price. But people are going to have the coins to pay absurd amounts for these overpowered OP cards later on after team of the year, right? Goretzka, very OP, incredible looking card, right? That's why I like the headliners and the road to the finals, honestly, the most out of a lot of these special cards and just your normal informs too, right? Inform Ben Yedder, depending on what he gets today, you know, it's a very meta card people like to use. All these Bruno Fernandez special items. Now he's got the player of the month, so that's a bit interesting uh, because people might be crafting that. Marcus Rashford special items, right? People are going to buy back that Rashford. Kyle Walker's inform, this card right here, right? A lot of pros have this for their, their um, qualifier teams. This guy isn't being panic sold at all, but when there's a point when he does, this card's going to be one that fluctuates like crazy, right? Because he's one of the most OP and used center backs in the game. So we'll probably do more videos this next or later on this week about what cards, again, we can focus in on, on, uh, you know, out of pack specials and stuff like that. But I wanted to talk about those for a minute. And now I want to talk about icons because icons are also a very big part, but I want to save it to the end because some of you guys, and it's fine, but not everybody in FIFA can afford an icon. But let's talk about icons this year. Puskas, baby card, right? These are out of packs. Baby icons out of packs. I want to show you what baby icons out of packs did last year. This is Eusebio, right? One of the most OP icons yet last year in FIFA 20. 3.2 mil on the Xbox, 3.7 mil on the PlayStation. Even with prime icon moments coming in February, this guy was so OP that he rose up to 5.2 million coins in late March on the PlayStation 3.7 to 5.2. A crazy rise on that Eusebio, one of the most insane we've ever seen. But these are the icons that I want to look at, right? Whether it's Cruyff that you want, whether, whether it is like Rijkaard or uh, Eto, oh, Cantona, one of the new ones, Vieira, um, Pelé, any of those new cards. I would I would argue that Pelé is, is this year's or last year's Eusebio, right? Pelé this year is kind of like Eusebio last year from what I've heard and from what I've seen. But some of these mid-tier icons with the good links, they do incredible. Take a look at this Makalele, right? Weekend League Panic sell-off down to 400,000 coins on both consoles. Rebounds to 
590,000 coins a few weeks after team of the year. Look at that return on your investment. Your return on your investment there is incredible. And this is mid Makalele, who was in packs, right? He was in packs, but then you can see as we get into February, with Icon Moments coming out, a lot of these cards do tend to drop off. And of course, it's just the second half of the year. So prices drop anyway. But uh, Baby Desai was another one. I don't think I have his graph pulled up. But that was another baby card. Like this year, Baby Cannavaro would be a fantastic one to probably sink your coins into. I know I showed um, Puskas right here. You know, the new icons, right? Puskas, Eto, those top two for sure would be ones that I would keep my eyes on that are one of the, some of the most popular new icons in this game that people want to use, especially um, just because they're brand new, right? And people have been using them all year. Now, again, buy time for these. Puskas was 1.85, right? And now he's 166. I still think you want to see a little bit of panic on these, especially because they're out of packs. If you see 100, 200K drops and undercuts whenever there's a lot of panic going on, or open bid listings, that's when you're gonna to wanna to get interested on these icons. Now let's talk about mid icons for a bit too. This is Cruyff, check this out. Mid Cruyff last year, 3.5 mil, all the way down to 2.4 mil during team of the year, and then rebounded right back to 3.2 mil. Dipped a little bit when Prime Moments came out, but this guy went out of packs then, and was so meta that he stayed very, very high. I do think you will see rises on icons this year, right? Again. Just like we talked about with the out of pack specials, you got to look at meta, you got to look at popular, and top nine league and top nine nation. All right, no, no icon league, but um, yeah, the big names, right? The big name icons, and the ones that have icon SBCs, you have to be a bit careful with as well because they have that icon SBC price that will kind of hold them in check, right? So like Roberto Carlos, Kaká. Um, if you wanted to do Cannavaro, his SBC, a lot of people will be crafting that during team of the year. They won't actually be buying those cards. So those cards you might see less of a rise on because they have that SBC available in game. And just beware if they drop more prime icons during team of the year, that might inhibit some of their rise there too. Now let's look at primes because primes have not been in packs for too long this year. Let's look at what happened last year. Rio this year, last year, 1.2 million coins. Bounced hard on a weekend, kind of came back down to 1.3. Rose into February and then bang, right? 1.28 to 1.46. So he's up almost 200K. And then Icon Moments come out in February and the dude goes to the bin to 1 million coins over the course of the next month. That again is gonna happen with a lot of cards. So just keep in mind that if you're buying an Icon, especially a prime icon, right? Look at Rio this year. I think I have Rio's graph uh, pulled up right here. Rio this year is 1.7 mil. Some of these prime icons I feel like are gonna take a hit with the supply that comes during team of the year because people are gonna number one, sell icons to buy team of the year cards. And number two, these icons are gonna get supplied like they really haven't been yet with the number of packs that are open on team of the year. And especially since we've had even, even longer time for people to save up packs for team of the year, there's going to be a ton of supply, right? And then you have icons like Garencha from last year as well. I wanted to show you this graph because, you know, some icons are just overpriced to start with. Garencha was 2.8 mil, dropped into team of the year to 2, two mil flat. He did go up about, you know, 200,000 coins, but then his price just kind of stayed chill and he didn't really move that much until throughout the rest of the year when he kept dropping. So again, you want to pick the icons that are the most OP, the most usable, the ones that people have in their teams the most, right? Some primes this year that a lot of people like to use. Cantona, Eto, Pushkash. Of course, everybody loves Dalglish. Uh, the Rio Prime is a big one. Fernando Torres Prime is going to be one this year that I think you want to keep your eyes on because this 88, even though um, he does have an Icon SBC that's been out in the game, this Prime is like, it's insane. So uh, I want you guys to keep your eyes on Fernando Torres. That'll be one that I think could do pretty well. I think it needs to drop some more yet but I also think it'll rebound. And when you're looking at a certain icon, if you wanna buy an icon for your team, right? Make sure you go on Footbin and you compare the prices from this year to last year, right? Where is Mid Cruyff right now compared to where he was last year? Mid Cruyff on the market last year was again, during team of the year, 2.4 million, he rose to 3.2. Well, Cruyff this year is still in the 3.2, 3.3 million coin range. Now I know we have more coins in the game this year, but that's why I'm still saying I want to see more panic on a lot of these cards. I want to see more drop off uh, before we actually look into seriously buying these for our teams. But regardless of whether it's special cards or icons that you're looking to buy, I just want to take this video and kind of show you the rises and the market movements that you can see post team of the year 
on this stuff. Now I'm going to make another video here the next couple days on some of the best cards that I think will rise the most out of packs just because of their links, because of what happens to when team of the year cards come out. And a lot of people can't afford team of the years. So they just go back and buy cards that they were using even before team of the year came out. So that's team of the year preparation video number two for you guys today. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. I know it's a lot of info and we'll break it down a little bit more later on this week. But if you enjoyed it again, hit that sub button. I would greatly appreciate it. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.